Good morning to you all. It's been a while now. I've been quite busy with some of the emergency work that I have at hand, especially deportation and removals. And it is not something that you can play with because it's people's life. So that's why I was um, away from line last week. Apart from that, there was no any other reason. I'm very busy because I have to deal with some audience work. But this morning, I have the great uh, pleasure to say I want to come online from this time now, 8 o'clock until 10.30 a.m. I'm going to be on from 8 o'clock now, which is I'm on now. You will call in on 0208-309-8808. 0208-309-8808. You will call in and ask questions that is bothering your mind because there are too many questions on the inbox that I cannot answer all at, the, at the same time. So I decided to come online this morning and give you the privilege from now till 10.30 a.m. before starting my official work. I'm in the office very early. That's what they call breakfast. Office breakfast. So I'm going to be taking questions on 0208-309-8808. 0208-309-8808. That is the telephone number that you'll be calling right now. 0208-309-8808. I'll take all worries from you from that time till 10.30 a.m. Soon as it's 10.30, I will come offline. Then I have to start my official work scheduled for 11 o'clock. So I'm going to start you on now from 8 o'clock. I'll give the leeway to answer queries and questions, everything bothering your mind on immigration matters, visas for people who want to come to the United Kingdom. It's going to be from 8 o'clock until 10.30. We are 8 o'clock now, and the telephone number to call me on is on 0208-309-8808. Strictly business. It's a Monday morning, so there is no time for music now. Monday morning, and I'm in the office. But I want to answer questions, I want to answer queries, I want to deal with matters bothering people's mind. There are so many of them in this, inside my inbox, but I don't think I have the opportunity to deal with everything at one go, because it's impossible to answer all questions at one go. So that is why I decided to come online this morning, very early, you know, to, to answer questions. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. Good morning. Good morning. It's been a long time. How are you doing and your family? Good morning to you. It's 18,600. It hasn't changed. It's 18,600. They haven't changed it. That's correct. This The figure has not changed. You know, the figure hasn't changed. Good morning to you. Yes. Yes, I am, and I'm taking your call straight away now. It's okay. We thank God. Question, please, quickly. She found the element of Babi Mofun, Babi Fun Baba Omoye. Yeah, only she from. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Great honor and privilege to sit here and answer questions from Nigerian and the diaspora and from friends and families that are on my line. I am proud to be a legal practitioner. And I don't think. I will answer any other call apart from being a lawyer. Good morning to you, Bright Immigration. Good morning to you, my dear. Okay, go on quickly. Okay. Okay.
When did you get married to your wife, your European wife? And two th 2013. And that is four years back now. And have you lived together continuously for that period? When did you get married to your wife, your European wife? Well, if the relationship is not going as you have planned, then the, the only way forward would be that you have to decide if you want to resolve the um, relationship. Do you understand? You have to decide that yourself. That's, that's not somebody else's um, decision for you. Say that again. You will be able to have a retainer of right of residence, providing that you are able to provide evidence from the start of your marriage till the last date of the divorce, till they till, till the issue you the divorce them document. Okay? All right, good luck. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Good morning to you, Brett Impression. Good morning. It's a breakfast surgery uh, regarding immigration matter. Um, this is an arena for you to ask your question right now regarding your immigration status in the United Kingdom. With regards to anything bothering your mind on making an application from outside European Union to come to the United Kingdom, the common mistakes people make is that they don't take proper advice. They don't take advice from those who know what they are doing. And as a result of that, they fall foul. Even while you are in the country, the whole idea is to take advice from superior. How do you know them? By their words, you shall know them, you shall identify them. That's what you need to understand. Question, question. Hello? Hello? Hey, Makaro. Okay. I, I try that as well, Sophie. Dear. Try to speak up. Yeah. Okay. Edu okay by definite. Before you make application for such um, um before you make movement for such application, you need to have your indefinite leave to remain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank. Thank you. Bye. 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 Dear. Bye. The question someone just asked me now from line now is that what salary? I mean, someone who lives in Nigeria and wants to apply for visa. What is the ideal salary before you can apply? There is no ideal salary. But you have to be capable. You have to show that you can afford to return back to Nigeria. So if you are coming from Nigeria, you must show that you have a job at hand. You must show that you have a strong community ties to return back to. If you don't show that you have all those things, they, it's going to be difficult for you, to be honest. It's actually going to be difficult to make application to come to the United Kingdom. They are not going to grant you that visa. They will not grant you. So we need to get that right now. Uh, good morning to you. Breakfast inquiries on immigration. Hello. Hello. Um, the only way of doing this thing here yeah, is that if you are making an application to come to the United Kingdom from outside, you'll be better off placed to show that you have a strong community ties in Nigeria. If you don't have strong community ties in Nigeria. It's going to be difficult. I know people are struggling because of this machine system. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Talking about lag by you. 
a car off. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. She better let she married person in the marriage certificate, isn't it? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, you can't. If you want to do the registry marriage, you have to have your marriage, um, your international passport. Listen, anything you want to do regarding your European family, you need to get it done now quickly. So if you're going to get married and make application, more proper application, then you need to do it quickly now. Mm -hmm. European person learning, yes, so I don't think you should face any problem on that. But the problem you are going to be facing is that at the time of submitting your application, you did not have your passport submitted with it. So it means that that application is not going to be successful. But by now you should have done the registry and send the passport back to them at the home office. I don't think there is any problem in that, you know, if you put, both of you are living together for real. You know, if it's for real, then there is not any problem in that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, bye. Yeah, you too, bye. Amen, my dear. Amen. Amen, you too, sister. God will bless your work as well. Thank you. Thank you. I she Someone that just got permanent stay after three years limited stay renewed twice. When can he apply for citizenship, please? You have to apply for your indefinite leave to remain before you can apply for citizenship. You have Oh, if you got permanent stay after three years, after three years limited stay renewed twice. When can he apply for citizenship? It depends on how long you have overstayed your visa for before you were granted the first three years. So it depends on when you are granted your first three years leave. If you have got no visa at the time you were granted your first three years, you have to calculate from that time and have your 10 years before you can apply. So you need to really check it properly. You understand? If it's not clear, you have to make a you have to book consultation and come and see me. Good morning to you, to Kumbo Lagbayi. Good morning. Someone that has an indefinite leave to remain. When did she submit her first three years? And did she have visa before she submitted the first three years? If she submitted the first one, 2010, you know, two th before 2010, what visa has she got? Was th but that visiting visa run out before the 2010. So that means that the person will have to stay from 2010 for another probably three more years, 10 years in the calculation. Do you understand? Yeah. You're most welcome, Pai. I have the great honor and privilege to stay here and answer queries from the people in the diaspora to resolve worries and queries. It's been a very hectic past few weeks, you know, but um, I want you to come with me. I want you to me. I must come and answer them, you know. I share with you my mini 
So come by like by you. Good morning to you, dear. Amen. 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 Go on quickly. Okay. Take, take me back to your question. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hold on, hold on. You were granted two and a half years. I remember that two and a half years is no recourse to public funds. And you said that you are not working. How are you funding yourself then? You know they will ask you that question in your next application. Mm. So you need to prepare your mind. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Okay. And you too. Thank you. The question that young man asked is so important for me to say it out now. He said that he was granted two and a half years recently under Article 8. He said he has not been working and he, needs, he, has, no, he has no intention to work. Now, all of you will agree with me that two and a half years was the kind of status that says no recourse to public funds. So if you are granted two and a half years and you are not working and you say you don't have intention to work, how are you maintaining yourself? So you'll be facing that predicament when you are coming for renewal. So you should be wary of that. That's just it. Good morning. Um, tell us to just go ahead straight away. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Good morning to you. Good morning, my dear, dear. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah. God bless you too. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, and you too. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I hate to see people suffering. And I haven't got money to dish out to the numbers of Nigerians in the diaspora or numbers of people that are sovereign in my presence. The great number that I know that needed this kind of services is quite enormously large. So if I distribute money to you every day to go and get lawyer, to go and see lawyer, I can't afford it. But I know I can afford you to come to my office to reduce the fee for you and at the same time to also give the inquiry online straight away now to answer your queries now that is the job of being selfless you know not not selfish i have it and i want to give it to people to understand it that's all i'm doing you know that's all i'm doing good morning to you to come back by you good morning thank you i'm online yes Okay. How many have you got before? In three years, yeah, be. Then I will be advising you to wait and get your indefinite leave to remain to, before you proceed to make application for that one to join you. Yeah. Mm. Why do you left it till, till now? Not only in the first three years, you know, uncle. Hey, but often you know, it change. Don't you? Yeah, don't you understand? Uh, don't you understand? But the urban people are so 
when you have time book appointments and come and see me in the office so i can advise you the other way mm. yeah yeah bye good morning to you thank you thank you thank you if i push for further leave to remain it's taking longer like eight months is that a bad sign or no F effect it has no effect don't worry if application for further leave for further leave is taking eight months that's not a problem it shows that there is a delay inside it's got nothing to do with you at all there's a large numbers of applications that are now experiencing delay from the home office so i will not even worry about that but it's a good thing that you ask questions so that you can be rest assured it is not from your end you don't have any problem just relax good morning to you to come by here on the line good morning yeah thank you okay go on Oh, hold on a second. When you were granted, so you were not living together at the time you were individually granted. Because I don't want people to get this thing mixed up. The question you are asking now is that you and your husband were granted two and a half years. But when people are listening now, people that are listening, they will be thinking that you were both granted at the same time, but you were not granted together as husband and wife. Exactly. So you were granted individually. Exactly. So I want people because people are listening, and I don't want them to misconstrue the information. I don't want them to 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 get it wrong. So since you were granted separately, and you want to come together now and go back to the home office as one. I have to be honest with you. The application will continue separately. So I don't know what your lawyer, I don't know what your lawyer may have said to them. Okay. Mm. 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 You probably will be advising you probably will be advising home office on your on your situation and said to home office that this was the situation at the time you were granted and this is now the situation now yes so but if you want me to have a look outside this online uh, thing then you can come to the office for consultation yes okay all right majority of you will have to book appointment to come and see me there is little we can discuss online but some of your questions need assistance in the office and you will need one-to-one -one consultation so you have to book appointment and come and see me you need to bear it in mind that good morning to you i will very okay thank you Okay. S say that again. I didn't get that. I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. 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 They gave right of appeal. Okay. The, 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 for you to know your fate on the pending appeal, then I have to have the scenario at hand, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Because if I don't have the fact of the case, then I will not be able to advise on the likely outcome. Yes.
four and two years. Are they British? But they don't they have British passports. It's only British passport that can confirm anyone as a citizen of the United Kingdom. Yes. Every children born in the UK are not automat automatically assumed as a citizen of the United Kingdom. Exactly. They will only be a citizen when they have obtained, yes, when they have obtained British passports. Either through their staying for 10 years or through one of the parents or both parents. So no, if what you are telling me is the situation that makes your application go to court to appeal, yeah, it means that the case is, is, is weak. Yeah. It means it's a weak case. So the lawyer probably put it in to buy time for you, but I don't know what time is the amount of time he or she wants to buy for you. Rather than to waste your money and, and stress you and then expose you to the authority. What do you mean by okay? Okay. And is that those children are they has? No. So you and that partner are not living together. The partner that has residence, you and the partner that has residence are living together. Now take take me back again. You're not assisting others listening. You know when you when people phone in like this, a lot of people are listening. They want to benefit from it. The program is to educate. Your application goes to appeal. So it's now pending. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But those children haven't got status. The children, are, the, the first child is four years, the second one is two years old, isn't it? But none of these children have British passport. This is what I'm saying. And the, and the partner, which is the mother, their mother, what about the status of their mother? The mother of these two children. If this mother of these two, two children have residence or status, yeah, it means that But if she if she has two and a half years, yeah, if she has two and a half years, why couldn't those two children have, or they are not hers? Can you book an appointment to come and see me so that I can take the next call, please? Yeah, please. Yeah, thank you. The thing I want to take you through is that. If you and your partner hasn't got status and you went in to go and submit an application under the same children that the partner bore you, the case is going to be so weak in a way that it, it can easily be thrown away by the judge. But for the system that we practice here, they won't throw it away. They will just argue it on natural ground. Then you have wasted time and money and effort. There is no need for such application to go in. It's not going to succeed. Token Bolag Bayi. Good morning to you. That's, that's correct. Your son has a settled status. But how, how many years has that child spent in the UK at the time her question was refused? But have you advised court on the change of status now? And the Home Office needs to be advised as well. They have to write to the HOPO, which is the Home Office Presenting Officer that will be coming, the department that will be coming to case to court for that case. They need to be updated straight away and say, listen, there is a change in circumstances.
you will be making a mistake if care is not taken. That is a new development that they need to be aware beforehand. Yes. Exactly. So they need to be updated. If, if they are updated beforehand, there is possibility that the Home Office might pull out for you. Yeah? Yeah. You're welcome. Bye. You see, every change in circumstances needs to be communicated to the Home Office. Straight away. It has to be. If it's not done in that manner, then you'll be losing out, you as a client. So you need to update Home Office. When you have a change in your situation, changes, address, a date of birth, mistake, errors, anything, they have to communicate it quickly. Good morning to you. Okay? Mm. You want to, yeah, of course you can do that if you want to do it yourself, if you know what you are doing. That's why I said, if you know what you are doing, then you can make application by yourself. Yeah. Okay? All right. Thank you. Bye. Let me see if I can read some questions here quickly. We've answered that question already. If application for further leave to me is taking longer, like eight months, is that a bad sign? It's not a bad sign. There is a backlog inside, so they're trying to clear it up. Even court is affect it's affecting court now. So it's not a bad sign at all. Don't worry. Good morning to you. Go on quickly. You have what? Say, say that. Say that question again. Okay. But the child was the child born in the UK? No, it was born in Nigeria. It was been, been in it, as long as that child is not born in the United Kingdom, you have to put, you have to go through all the necessary procedures in application and get to the depth to the stage of indefinite leave to remain. Okay. You must get indefinite leave to remain for a British uh, for a naturalization application to be submitted or registration for underage. Because somebody told me that when it's ten years, I can do a PhD. For a child that was born in the UK, not for a child that is not born. Yeah? All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Good morning to you. You were granted two years or two and a half years. Yeah. The person who told you is he a lawyer. 
what what were you granted before you were given the first two and a half years? What status have you got? You are, can you lower your Facebook client team? You applied for what do you say you applied for? Yes. Mm. 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 You've sent it down now to the home office for the second renewal. If you look at the letter that they gave you at the first time when you were granted the first two and a half years, it would have been said that you were you are going to apply for 120 months. For 120 months. Exactly. So you can't apply for indefinite leave to remain after that. You, you have to wait for 10 years. Yeah, so the two and a half... No, there's no way to bypass it. <laughs> No, not at all. So you should, your lawyer shouldn't have advised in that manner. Yeah, yeah. That's why I asked you that. Was he a lawyer that had advice like that? Don't mind. Don't mind. That was a negligent advice. The letter was stated straight away that it's 120 months, 10 years route. And for all 20 years stayed in the UK, they have to do the 10 years route, yeah? You will have to do it for the second, for the third, for the fourth until you are applying for indefinite leave to remain. That is when you will not do it. And the reason why you are not doing it at the time you are doing indefinite leave to remain, it's mainly because the money for indefinite leave to remain is double or even triple. Yeah, that's just the reason why. The application fee is probably double or triple. Yeah, that's, you have to continue two and a half years four times yeah so if you had one before you have just gone in for the second one so you have two to go for again if the second one comes out successfully because bear it in mind they are not automatic anymore so when it comes to applying for a renewal you have to make sure that you have good character and good character it's so large that it's not even constrained and lim it's not limited so you have to be careful and it involves driving and other, other things like bankruptcy, many things, so many things. Yeah, okay? All right. You're most welcome, bye. Amen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, all of you. <laughs> thank you. The person who lives in Nigeria that wants to apply for visa, what is the ID salary before you can apply? The question I have answered already. There is no need to repeat myself, but I will say it again. There is no cutoff that you must be working and have a strong community ties with Nigeria for you to come to the UK for a visit. If you are coming to the United Kingdom as a visitor and you don't have strong Nigerian community ties over there, your application is not going to be successful. So you have to bear that in mind. And when we talk of strong community ties, it means you must have a job, family, and property. Good, good morning to you. You've submitted to them. And when was this? September last year. Yeah, that's fine. That's 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 fine. That we still have some applications in from there from that period. It I think it's backlogged. Mm, so I won't worry yet. Yeah. Okay. So come on, lag by Hi, Carol. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Mm. 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 I don't think both of you will be able to do so unless you go through the European one, which is under Zabrano, and that is unlikely. I don't think both of you will be able to benefit at the same time. Yeah, that, that is very unlikely. Yeah. So you need, you need a wise um, movement before you put in an application. Okay. If you need my uh, consultation, you have to come to my office to come and take consultation because what I'm giving you is just a generic one, which I am not, uh, even though I'm a legal practitioner, I be bound, but I will not be bound if you don't come to the office and come and see me one to one, you know, to tell you that, yes, this is the way it's supposed to be. This is the law. This is the reason why the law is in this manner. But on, on, on online advice like this, it's just generic, short, and bullets. So there is no way it can be in depth. What I'm doing at the moment is just to put you, to put your mind at rest. Because I know a lot of people have been wanting to speak to me for the past, you know, weeks and days now. But due to my schedule, busy schedule, I was unable to come online to come and deal with matters. But um, out of no time is what I am using to come online. But I will always come, don't worry. I will always come, even if the data I have promised is not stable. It doesn't matter. I will always come. Once it's once you guys, few of you that are online can listen and share it, it is fine. Others will pick it up from there and come and contact me. That's the whole idea, you know. As long as some of you are online and you share it straight away, then that's fantastic. That's just what I want you to know. Talking about like by yeah. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay. It's what? I didn't get that. Okay. We've answered that already. draft question if you have a child that is born to you that you gave birth to as a woman and the father of that child refused to claim that child and you are saying that you want to and somebody else just want to claim that child Somebody else can claim that child through the legal order, through, through, through the legal processing. Somebody else cannot go to go and put their name on the birth certificate with that question that lady asks. You don't, you don't do that. The question you will need to deal with before you is the problem between you and the baby's father. What if the baby's father turn up tomorrow? How are you going to address the problem? He is his child. Your basope is a little away because you have disparities at the moment, does not mean that the child is not his. And because you are in love with someone else, does not mean that you should give the child to someone else. Literally, when you manage to resolve the problem with the biological father, how do you want to deal with the problem? Your basope will Do you understand? You basokwe ogbayo. Oh, you want to listen to people calling? Okay, okay. Um, all right, my dear. I'll put it on speaker. Okay. 
Okay, I'll put it on speaker here. If you want to listen to people calling, let me see if I can do it now. We'll put it on speaker. Sorry about that. Because I want you to benefit anyway. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. Let me know if you can. Not you. Um, someone online that just asked that question. I don't like. I don't enjoy mentioning names. But if you can hear the question, somebody should just let me know that you can. You can hear questions coming on now because I put it on speaker. Okay, go on. You've been here for seven years now. Oh, you you have been nine years. Okay. Mm -hmm. children. How many children? Two children. And we separated. My first one is 18 and the second is 10. So, but we are planning to come back together now because this was is a um, permanent state to remain. Yeah. So, but we are, I apply with my children before we eventually try to settle now. Mm. And um, I don't know what my status would be. Eventually, we are putting application before we came together. Yeah, that, that, there's, there's not any army that if you guys are coming back together to live as man and wife, there is no problem in that. And once you come back to the house and become a full member of the household, then you need to show proof of address together before you can submit application to the Secretary of State. Bear it in mind, they have history about you guys already. On your own without him? Yeah, without, with him, he just um, stated that um, he's in agreement with the application. But as at that time, we only came together because of the children. But now, we, we agreed to come back as one whole family. So, but my lawyer said, even if we come back together, that all I will be getting is one and a half years. Yeah, half bread is better than none. Yeah, that's what you'll be getting because you have run out of visa under him previously. But they will give you the exceptional situation and circumstances status because things happen between two of you, that's why it's not going well. That's why you guys separated. But now that you have come back together, that is fine. But what you will only be granted is two and a half years. Of course, yes. But then he will be able to, uh, to register for a child that is 10 years. You know, that child that is under age should be... You will be getting you'll be doing two and a half years four times. I'm afraid so. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for the advice. You're most welcome, my dear. Take care. It's all about how to regularize your status in the United Kingdom. Tokumbola by is my name as you can all see online. Eh, me joking, Jasha. I'm going to be live on my radio program Saturday, this coming Saturday at 2 o'clock. So, um, and I'm more likely to come online again on Friday, as I have promised, usual time. But the reason why I came on this morning so early, breakfast inquiries, is to make sure that I deal with all the telephone inquiries. People have been sending email, you know. People have been sending uh, emails and things, and I cannot have... Um, you know, I, I cannot have time to answer everything at the same time. So the only way forward is to take phone calls straight away and deal with it once and for all. You know, um, that's the only way to, to assist. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you for your sweet uh, words. Thank you for your support. And a lot of people are enjoying you as well, the way you are supporting the program with your words. It's not for your it's money, but with the words you are giving, the encouragement, people love you as well. You know, people are enjoying you. You know, when you encourage and those who are in need can see what you are saying, they too are praying for you as you are also supporting them to receive this um, advice. Only any Kennedy will ban you for a lot of share on our phone or not any kid here. You can come to the office, you will pay me. But at least this time that I have given you is my time.
two and a half hours out of a legal practitioner's time is quite a lot of money. You understand? But in Barney Timba so we and Uncle Kinimo Feshi. So Uri at a legal Mutimo Shifu, they will continue to, prov to provide that loss of time for me. So I am not worried. I am, I am contented. We do well all along. Upon you got your long man, Jenny Mububa. His name is not any other thing other than he is. Thank you. You know, all he needed from us is to be appreciative, grateful. Gratitude is my swagger. Gratitude, it's my name. Gratitude, appreciation, that is my name. And that is my swagger. Appreciation. In all we do, give thanks to God. In all we say, give thanks. In all that happens to us in life, give thanks to God. Because his love is steadfast. Give love to give thanks to God all the time. In times of trials and tribulation, in problems, in everything, still glorify his name. Because his love endures forever. His love is steadfast. Its love is not shared. He does not share his glory with anyone. There is a beautiful God. When you know him, you know everything. You will have wisdom when to speak. You will have knowledge and understanding who to deal with and you will know what to do and when to do it. Wisdom is what is crucial. That is what Solomon has. Don't forget, Solomon became the richest king because he asked for wisdom. When you have wisdom to deal with people of all age, people of all backgrounds, all attitudes and behavior, that is wisdom. Wisdom is different. It's like when somebody broke a Yoruba language for me recently, that Yatawa la ni olowo ati olola. Eni to ni ola maran owo ni she ni. Shubwa eni to ni owo, mwa man dam, lo man she u owo ni. Eni to ripe mwa ran owo ni she. Eni to break Yoruba yin fun mi, mo gba 20 years la wwe, lo jwa uri. Oni Yatawa la ni olola. At the end of logo, a rumba me. Only I told me all that I be money. I believe only. Oh, my mouth will buy ye and all woody shenny. Oh, the money share because all law lanny. To bend to new woke or my damn money. But you will work with if you jump to that sino, with if you won't go to that, with if you shake out to that because good need for compile a She do what best need damn no shell woo woo. And let down the jack and shell woo let down the jack and share with you. And it's all now we want to share all like that. Not one day, and you can compare and contrast and we'll learn the magic on you need that record my focus on one last year. When you learn it, you can even learn it. Oh, how or what? Okay, no, we talk about the we talk about the other one more town. It can be talk about the other more town. I be a whole city. I I do a few more more town. When any dirty petrol, one one need do. A little, a little okay. No way, yeah. Oh, kill me. Lati ride most no more to it. Into that one more time, one more logical journey. But the other one, turn no wo. She own no wo ni she. But she did petrol station. Ni a one more time park him more to it. But but keg to cost no more to. One co one no petrol station lor. One lor ride po yeah. One lor feel the wa. Cause you go cost no way po yeah. Cost no way po yeah. Tan. O tun wa fun awon mo ta yen ni owo mo ma fi owo ra yi ni mo kin fi ra e te dupe lodo olorun dupe lo gbo en te n gbo mi so kun bo lagbaye e ka ro salafia yeah okay For a very long time, or then you should be that is our job. I know what we call a book book or is a woman for a woman in a man had line or your man for sure. So, what a long ferry locate was the UK. So, one is a bound to the way up possible. That's if 
Okay, checking your advice. Ma? Checking my advice, love. Yes, ma. As we speak now in the United Kingdom, the time is 8.56 a.m. Ma? As we speak in the UK now. Yes, ma. The time is 8.56 a.m. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Mark Bolo, Mark Bolo. That's not the, that's not the point. Ah. It's eight fifty seven now. The oh yeah, continue, continue. The point here is that the point okay, I want ma. to make here is that as we are speaking now, and it's yes, a very inquiring point here. Only freedom of movement as we are at the moment. Okay, ma. So all the travel was in UK as of okay. this time now, eight fifty seven a.m. in England. Okay, ma. Koto wa comprehensive insurance. Tofi ma le ni as koto wa ko she comprehensive ko she insurance. Insurance ma. Tofi le ma ni access to medical ni UK. Ah oh, mommy, eduro mu ko ba ba comprehensive insurance. Mommy. Hello ma. Mo bo ni. Edo she bi lo ti ma che. O ma she ko to ma bo ni. O ma ba insurance da ni European insurance. A she da ni lato mi ni pe. Call a cover and let him look at everything in Bibai. Oh, okay, ma. Yeah. And that is before, the, the reason why I gave you time is because as I am speaking now, they have not triggered Article 50. <laughs> that is why I gave you that time. Three and you, more points, tell me in law. Eh, more tell me in law. I think she has cut off. I think her line, Tonupe, she's calling from Spain. So, what I feel like I need to cut off. But the reason why I quoted time to that lady. It's just for her to understand the fact that at the time she asked that question, we have not been out of Europe. Autumn, that's the only reason why I quoted it. We are still in the European membership chain. So which means that the person that she's asking question on behalf have the privilege to travel to the United Kingdom. Free movement of person. The free movement of person as we speak is still available. As, as I am talking now. So you need to be checking when I speak, what time and date I gave the advice. The parliament has not resumed. There is nothing telling us that they have triggered Article 50. So the question she asks is that, can that person come to England? The person could come to England, provided he, she has obtained an insurance from that place. It is not free, oh. Because you must have exercised treaty rights in the United Kingdom before you can have access to public funds. And public funds is not limited to money. It also extends to social services, to national health service, to housing and other things. But you need to understand at what stage it will be applicable in your journey. You need to understand at what stage it will be relevant to you. The exercise of treaty right means that you must be working and have been paying taxes to the, to the government of the United Kingdom before you can have that opportunity. Tokumbo Olagbaye. Good morning to you. I just called my name now, so I'm the one online. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, just go on, Lord. just go on, just go on talking. <laughs> okay, you want me, you are not on speaker at the moment. Mm, you are not on speaker. Mm. God bless you and what you are born in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. This morning, son. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
So your partner has what status? But he has settlement before. So he wants to apply to become a citizen of the United Kingdom. Okay. He has applied. So you are waiting for the certificate. Exactly. That's fine. Now you have children together. That is going to be an obstacle. Yeah. Because you have run out of visa, isn't it? Exactly. So that's going to really be an obstacle. If you don't have visa and you want and you have over, and you've run out and you haven't got children or child together and your partner is not European, it's a citizen or somebody with settlement status, it's going to be yeah, but it's a set it's settled. It's not an European person. Exactly, it's not a European person, so they will be challenging you under immigration rule. So you just have to prepare your mind. But then if you say you are trying and, it's, and both of you are man and wo woman, they, they, there is nothing else you can do other than to submit an application and put a strong representation in with strong medical background, medical record to show. Mm. Yeah. You must work on. Amen. 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 Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. The fate of kids that are born in the UK without status yet and not seven years old, can they be deported? Ah, and they are not seven years old. I cannot specify. I am not an immigration minister or secretary of state. That would be very, very difficult for me to speculate if one of the parents managed to get into trouble. You know? No. No. So I cannot speculate. No, I can't speculate. No, I can't. Um. The line will come back again. I think um, they are jamming on each other. <laughs> Everybody wants to call in at the same time, but it's not possible. I can only pick one at a time, otherwise. So as I'm saying, those who are seven years old, uh, those who haven't clocked seven and they were born in the UK, they are not citizens of the United Kingdom yet. So you need to really keep them safe from problem. They can cause problem. It's the parent. It's the parent that needs to be away from problem and troubles, you know, so that they don't say their, their, their own stupidity does not affect the poor children's status, you know. So you don't use your own rubbish to affect your children so you have to be careful if that child has not spent seven years in the uk there is every possibility that it can be removed if one of the parents got into trouble in the united kingdom so you have to be careful my contact number to call me on is on 0208 309 let let's do it this way can call me on that number and when you call me on that number and then we can take it on from there you know so that's the number you can call me on good morning to you 
No, at the moment you are not. No. And you, what status have you got now? Was this, uh, does this say five years? Uh, yes. So, therapy apply. If I were you, I would not apply for the child now. I will just wait and get my indefinite leave to remain. And then I will apply British passport for citizenship for that child. Yeah, if you have not done anything silly, as in silly, you know, and you have all the necessary requirements in place, then you will be granted. What I'm saying to some of the people that were granted refugee status is that they are jokers. If they don't know the... It's a gift that is given and can be taken back at any time. So if you are granted refugee status, it means that you cannot travel to Nigeria. Because any yet so we will lose Nigeria, we will not have power or problem one be. Then you actually apply for um, status here, for protection. And if it's acceptable that it's, yes, you need that protection and you are granted, it means that Nigeria is a bad country for you to attend to go to. And that's just it. Yeah. Okay. You're most welcome, my dear. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So by apply for refugee status, if you applied for refugee status, let's say it in English, and you are granted, it means that you cannot travel to your country of origin because you have already claimed for protection. You claim fear of death. You claim that you are fearing, you know, um, death. And that is why you ask for the United Kingdom government to protect you. United Kingdom government have stretched her hands to protect you. So if she has stretched her hands to take you in as her own child and cover you and protect you, you cannot afford to let the United Kingdom government down. If you do make that attempt, you will be repatriated, you will be returned back, you will be refused. So you need to understand the law, the scenario behind grant of refugee status. It is under the United Nations Convention, UN that the UK government's part of the obligation that they have signed to afford you that protection. That is not under immigration, it's under UN. But because United Kingdom is part of the member, it has signed the treaty, United Kingdom cannot afford to turn back, to turn her back on you when you are crying, looking for a shoulder, you know, to rest on. If the UK government opened her shoulder for you and asks you to rest on it, you cannot let her down. Attempt to let her down will mean that you have to be returned back to your country of origin, regardless of, or any other country may take you on. That will be your problem because she has fulfilled her own bargaining side by protecting you and grants you that five years residence, uh, refugee status that you requested for. There is a clear difference between grant of refugee status and the two and a half years. The two and a half years does not accept your argument that you are, fear, you are fearing persecution. So it does not accept that you flee persecution. And that is why you were granted two and a half years. But if you were granted three uh, um, refugee status, it means your argument and claim were accepted. So they mean, it means that you were fleeing persecution. So you need protection from the United Kingdom and you were protected. That is why you were granted. If you are granted, you have to accord with all the rules and regulations. Abide with it. And if you cannot abide with it, it means you'll be thrown out of the gate. You'll be thrown out. So you have to understand the difference. The difference between the refugee status and the two and a half years. It's clear. So come by like you. Hello. So that is just the situation between the grant of accepting refugee status and the grant of limited leave to remain. 
you have to understand the differences. Because if you don't understand, then it's going to be a problem. So it is important that you understand it. And you too, God bless you too. God bless you as well. <laughs> you are not on speaker. Well, it's a busy line anyway, so we thank God that you are able to come through now. Mm. Good morning to you. Thank you. Say that again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When is it going to do? What date? April. April. Okay. And when is the 10-year boy coming up for 10th year's birthday? Oh, that is fine then. So you have to hang around and, and get a response to make your application under that 10 years. So the 10 years does not have to go in with you anymore. Yeah. I, I advise so. Yeah. Come and see me. Yes. Yeah. Of, of course. Yes. Yes. The same number you're calling now, you will call it later on after when I come offline, after 10.30, and you book appointment to come and see me. Yeah. You will always pay for NHS when you are doing your renewal for two and a half years. Unless if you are, your son is not going to pay for NHS because he's going to apply for registration. Mm. Uh, the one you are going with, the five-year-old will have to pay and you have to pay as well. Mm. Okay. All right, good luck. No problem. Mm, it's all right. Yeah, it is well with you, guys. God appreciate all of you. It is well with all of you that um, show the sign of appreciation there and put your word out there. God appreciate you more than anyone. God appreciate you and God and go to your back. Thank you for your uh, word of encouragement. So like I said earlier on, you have to have information at hand. You have to make sense from what I'm saying and to make use of it. Tokumbo lag by you. Hello? Hey, Carol. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, go on. She can do no key girlfriend here, be more. Let's wait. See girlfriend there by be more. Then I'm going to apply for a registration for my first uh, register my first citizenship. So my agba, um, oh my, oh my agba pali pupa, eh, oh my agba pali pupa. So my agba pali pupa. Then I will apply for for ya. Kesi yeyi. So you, eh, uh, so ekbo, eh, ekbo mitu ba ti two time. Boy, ma share niti niti. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I see ni be ni I pa mo da si. E me jo kinjasha. A minute to come back by ye, tea would win now, paru a lot on no sit on paru a lot on. He shall run a minimum she. I am a legal practitioner to the core. I am not immigration advisor. I am a solicitor of the Supreme Court of England and Wales. I qualified as a lawyer in the United Kingdom. I did my training contract. I went, I did university degree, I did master's degree, I did postgraduate degree. 
I did everything in the United Kingdom. I went to law school and I did a training contract two years. If you are a solicitor and you are trained in this country, you must have passed through a lot like me. Because it is not easy for a black person to qualify as a solicitor. Not to not talk of a woman. Double discrimination in the United Kingdom. So I have passed through the thick of it in the UK before I was qualified and pronounced as a solicitor of the Supreme Court of England and Wales. Those who are with me on the day I was pronounced and qualified at the Law Society Chastering Lane will know how much I blast for just being pronounced as a lawyer, as a solicitor on that day. It is different from the jurisdiction in Nigeria. If you are qualified, not converted, you are a proper trainee solicitor and you qualify. Because what you go through from the time you are looking for training contract is hell. What you pass through when Oga take you on, he, will use, he or she will use you like a slave in the UK, either white or black. You have to prepare tea. You have to serve. Before you will now be called into the superior's office and interview, and you can, you'll be given an interview by this principal partner of the practice. You will then now they will then decide the areas of subject you have been showing your strengths since you have come into the practice as a case worker. They will now decide with your educational background and get a form from the law society and sign you on as a trainee. The fact that you were signed on as a trainee, listen to me now carefully, it doesn't mean that you are being paid salary. They are doing you a favor. That is what some of them said. It is, it is up to you to take that favor or not. If you don't take the favor, you are doomed for life. I trained, but I'm not saying everything here because I don't want anybody to investigate my superior. It's a she. She has done me a favor, even though we passed through thick and th we, I passed through a lot in her hands. She's a she. Commission of Marilo training me, Obirilo training me, and she gained a lot from my brain from my exposure, from my public publicity. She gained a lot, but I am not saying anything negative about her. But I passed through a lot. But today I am grateful to God. Many, many years have passed on. But she was the one, out of when you are pushed, you become stronger and stronger. When you face challenges in life, you become stronger and stronger, and you are able to think during those challenges period you be able, you'll be able to think you understand you'll be able to think and then become stronger i became stronger as a result of what i have passed through during my training contracts it was those period that trained me in my mind that i know what i will do when i qualified i know who i will help because i've seen what people are going through so i was having it in my mind that I will help people. I won't leave them outside. It was the challenges that helped me to stand on my own. Anyone who qualified here will realize that you must have specialized for certain years before you can stand on your own. I, I stand out straight away as soon as I qualify a month later. I look for somebody who has the specialist skill to cover my practice. I check with the law society. Law society said as long as you have someone to cover your practice, we don't have any problem with your skills and knowledge and understanding of the laws in this country. So they gave me go ahead. I look for somebody who can cover the office in his name. And I started my career from then onward. She shaped me, you're right. It was what I have passed through that make me be a strong woman today. So if you don't pass through anything, you don't have history to talk about. It is what you have gone through that will have enabled you to come out and talk and advise people and stand out and put your head out and take the challenges on. I have not seen to fear because I know if I am not qualified to advise in that area, I will not speak, I will not open my mouth. But as a solicitor of the Supreme Court of this English world country, not Nigerian law, I don't talk about Nigerian law, I am talking about this beautiful English country law. I understand what I'm saying. And when I give advice, I said, don't make an application yet. Believe me, if you make it, you will make it, you will, you will have problem with it. No history, no story. 
You are right. You will be back to play in ball. Or a tea too, so. But at least this is part of what I need to give to people. That is what make me be to online by a strong woman that is coming out in the public. Those who have known me from the past knows that I have gone to many churches in this country to, to educate people on immigration status when it was really rough and dirty. I have been out to colleges and universities and educate the principals, to commercial, to sectors, to educate the entrepreneur, what is expected of them from the Secretary of State. Then, you know, so we know what we are talking about when it comes to the issue of advising on immigration matter. We know exactly what we are talking about here from my office. I will not give you advice when I am not certain or sure. You understand? And I go to on training from time to time so that I don't lose out on, on immigration laws. I update myself all the time. I make phone calls as well. The superior questions is very important. You must have people that you have to check things with when it's blow. You must have books precedent to check with when it's getting dirty so that you can get yourself right. And then the Lord Agba Alufi Kho Nushe, Nushe Nyame Nyanji, Beni. Onti Oju Wa Itiri, I want to talk about it, I want to go through a month in practice in the UK. I face through the double discrimination in the system. I am a woman and I am black. But then listen carefully, I am black and proud. I am black and shine. So I am proud of what I am doing. And nobody, nobody, unless if I don't have time, but if I have time, I will come out and talk. Nobody can take me off that track because I will not step on your toes. So nobody, and I will not step on the authorities' toes. The law states it, and I will tell you exactly how it stated, and I will tell you how to play inside that law. The law is just a paper that is drafted. But then as a legal practitioner, you must be able to piece it for your client to benefit from it. And that's my job, to make sure that you guys benefit from what I have swallowed into this brain. There's nothing else. I party, I have time so I have time to read. I have time to read. I have time to answer queries. I have time to do things when I want to do it. But when I cut off from work, you will not get me, believe me or not. When I cut off from work, you sink or two man, she will get me until when I back to work. Hello. So that's just the situation. I still have some minutes more because I promise you at least about one hour. I promise you till ten thirty to answer all the questions and the query. And me, I'm a little just what you know. You know, my kid will could daily and it's hard to be sad you to the adjury to become a really or what I want to share with you when the time comes about the issue of dealing with people in Nigeria for especially those who are in the diaspora when you are buying properties. The time is coming and it's a real life story. Or John on Bo, the fish are in my five years left. Tokumbola by Good morning to you. Sorry, uh, I want to I want you to enlighten me on something, please. Uh, Go on. Uh, my name is Adela Gugade. I'm one of your. Uh, I can tell straight away with your name. Pardon? I can tell with your name. So carry on. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I filed in for uh, what is it called? Uh, permanent resident in the uh, uh, UK here, yeah. and. My partner is from uh, what is it called Northern Ireland, and in the in the they the sent the, the letters to us recently that she should denounce her. You know, being uh, being that she's from Northern Ireland, they, she has a dual nationality, Irish and uh, British, and they send a letter to us now that she should denounce her uh, British uh, British citizen. <laughs> Can I first of all thank you very much for coming up with this topic? Okay, ma'am. Can I first of all show my appreciation to you? Okay, ma'am. Because this is an area that is not clear to people. 
But I've been saying it, but it seems that they are not understanding what I'm telling them. One part of more. Social attitude denounce it, Like Baron, no. Two about that denounce here. Two about denounce here. You are going to be affected. So who advise her to go and apply for British passport without so consulting me? For British passport. Some of me, uh, she's from here, Northern Ireland. Do a nationality anymore? She understand. Uh, so who apply? Whoever has me British passport. Uh -huh. So why you Irish here? Irish here, lonely. I don't know Irish, low alone. Yeah, so go there, Lumba. Irish here, no, like a filing, man. Yeah, because of a home denounce here, she be called Nidia. They carry the same weight. As long as she's living in the United Kingdom, she doesn't have any problem. Because if she does not do that, you are not going to get your permanent residence. Okay, but the letter they send, they could prove we could prove we could send the because you are here, you are not going to get your permanent residence. Right. That's just the difference. That's just the bottom line. Even though she have got the Irish passport, I mean, got the British passport. Yeah, but they know that she's entitled to and she can apply anytime. It's not only because she's even from Northern Ireland. It's all of them now. I think that is an internal decision that has been made behind our back again. There is one that is internal that has come to ex external that we have read it on online from their website. But this one, I think it's overnight decision now that what they will be saying is that once European person come in to make application for their non-European family member, they will be asking them to denounce that right to apply for British status. Okay, ma, and I can believe what well, in future, she could maybe any benefit job only take if she has been if she has been living in the United Kingdom continuously, she was born here, ma. As in, if, if another island, or if by love business. That is why they want her to denounce it because she made application for you under Irish passport. Yes, ma. So they will not. They're not going to allow her to use the other one. She needs to take on one nationality now. The law has changed. They've changed everything now. I won't be able to talk on that. I won't be able to talk on the effect that it will come up with later on in life. But I don't think there should be any problem. Because the Irish passport, Irish passport is as good as a British passport if you have been living in the United Kingdom for a very long time. She was actually having family background everywhere. I know. I understand what you are saying. But the yeah. British government is not going to change what she has said. And for, so and, much, and, and, for, and for your benefit as well, she just have to. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I appreciate <laughs> okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Man. All right, my dear. Take care. All right. All right. Bye. 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 That's how they want it. So um, you have to abide by the law of the country you are living, by the authority. If you look at the British passport, when we are traveling, British passport always tell us that we are a British citizen. We should always respect the law of the country we are stepping into. Look at the British passport where it talks about their majesty. In front of it, it says it. And I would expect Nigerian passport to have said it as well, an American passport. It means that you cannot go to another country to go and have jurisdiction over them. You have to abide. Once you have landed and touched soil of that country, you must comply with the rules and regulations of that country. Sefine. Yeah, go on then, go on. Five years in the money, five years in my son next year. So, anything more be more for you. So, you understand? Because the reason for the reason when you applied as a refugee in the UK, you must have told one story or another for them to have granted you. Mm -hmm. Ah, your mother, man, fall in love. A man, close the eyes. See? I think you should see me in the office before you messed up your status. So, you um, 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 asylum, you to understand this, sir. But I think you should be booking appointment to see me so that you don't get yourself into mess. Uh, mommy, 
Do you understand? This is where I am when people take their cases to lawyers and they mess it up and they destroy it for them and then they now start coming back to me and come and attempt to come and make rectification. How can I rectify when I am not the one who's messed it up? How can I put my head out? Once it's damaged, it's damaged. I will not be able to. That is why I'm giving you advice now. If I were in your shoes, why told she do go by indefinite leave to me? Then I don't know. Then I don't know. Once somebody pushes it, I want to mess it up. Me. You understand? Mad alone. Mommy say I like when you keep two no one. Go worry me consultation in to back carry me. Okay? Go book appointment. Go move us out of me. Go worry me. Okay, ma. Okay. I will not guarantee you anything that happens after then. I won't stand. Okay? Okay, ma. Yeah. Yeah. People just forgot that they have given stories. They have given history. When they applied for a certain, for certain status, they have forgotten completely. Out of sight, out of love, they got carried away. They will now want to rectify things in a way that it will demolish, the, 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 the discredit them. It will discredit you. When you have told a story and you now want to go back and now say the story is not the same story anymore, haba, haba. It's it's so not right. If you have said a story, you must stick to your story. Nobody is a fool in any game, but when we are playing it, you have to play your dust clean. You play your Ludo, you play it wise. Yes, and good morning. Me, me, bo, me, bo. I'm going to tell you first, I'm going to tell you discuss. You don't want to. Okay, all right, okay. You are not on speaker. Go on. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me what other lawyer advise you on. It doesn't help my brain. Mm, let me just advise you um, on my own knowledge. You came to UK 2011. I'm parents and with you. That you have a, a but we Eastern, but you have a, a mental issue. Hmm. And how often do you take treatment? How often? But do you usually have a, what we call the um, to sham anything sham and shell it to my to my different from normal behavior? Mm. 
because the reason why I'm asking all this question is that your time in the UK it's only six years. Yeah? And the way you are talking to me, you're a full blown adult. Exactly. And there is nowhere in the system in the law that it is stated that an adult child can rely on their British parents. Now, if you are not taking in on the medical grant, to avoid floodgate arguments, the, the government will not want to grant it just like that. Yeah, because of my open floodgate, and when you are away from true method, you know, that's why no. That is why government does not even want to grant unless it's absolutely necessary. Now, the only way to assist your application, as you have said, is pay for a gay friend that has a European passport. And you, if you are living together, are you living together? If you are not living at the moment, you cannot do anything under her. Do you understand? You need to show that you are living together. Submit an application under her, but that is provided you have lived together. And it has to be two years evidence. Yeah, yeah. It has to be two years of living together. If it's not up to two years, it's not going to be allowed. You are very, very vulnerable. You are very, very vulnerable. Very, 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 very. So you have to be careful. Okay. You're welcome. Bye bye. You will get um, time to book me to come and see me. You will get time to book me after this program. The secretary will be able to take line personally from then on. But at the moment, I am in charge of taking line now so that I can give professional advice. But after 10 30, then my secretary will take on, they will resume line and I and book you in to come and see me. You know. Hmm. Then you report such people to the authority. Take a walk by you. And my car or shall I fear you? I know you are not on speaker. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. Can you go by you? Tell if a speaker here. Everybody saying she means in speaker. You are not on speaker. That's fine. Mm. Thank you. No, thank you. That's fine. Go on. Mm. Hello there. Okay. Mm.
So let me get this right. Can you walk it by with Tele? For discussion already for the mail, three years. Oh, I kill one shilling. Oh, one threatening Abby. Ah, why to Shima lost on the court? Way, Yaomon, Paro by way. When you applied for refuge and asylum and you were you were accepted on three years discretionary leave to remain. So you know to one better. You apply for asylum, home office itself does not accept your asylum claim. Eh? Uh can you more yeah? Every child born in the UK will have British bar uh, British birth certificate. Mm. Iraq possible. So where was the child born? In Bolo Bisha Hospital Nabinu Boni. Exactly. The nurse will have taken record. How many any hospital record? This country is different. The nurse, the hospital where that child was born will have taken record. So they have record of that child that he was born in the UK. Why would you stood why would you stood low and do that? Why would you stood low? <sighs> yeah, but you still can't do that. Now, you know what you are doing now? You are denying that child an everlasting thing. Don't you see where I'm coming from? If that child, that child is going to be 10 years now from birth in the UK, and you said you brought the child into the country, meanwhile the child was born in the UK, she be hospital ni want to be a money, and normally hospital transfer files to the local registry. So, at what point did you cut off from the chain? And the child will have a red book. Thank you. So, at what point did you make yourself? Off from the chain because I was a chain from from the hospital from the pregnancy period. You were seeing a GP. Uh, we are living in a sophisticated country. We are in a world that understands better. We are not in a dick and hairy country. With due respect to other nations, this country is by far better off than any other country in the world, regardless of where the country comes from. United Kingdom is the best. United Kingdom have sophisticated information, registration, investigators, everything. And this is codified because of the laws we practice from the palace in the holding days. So it's not just for today's date. The kingdom, the word kingdom, so he's been in charge for a very long time. He has been in charge of this for a very long time. So if a child is born in the United Kingdom, oh, the claim for another country, I'm sorry, I can bet it with you. One day, because the child was born in the hospital, the child has GP. One day, follow her on. Red book, there is red book. Please, anybody, to one bed, join me. There's a red book. Somebody delivered you, a midwife delivered you at the hospital and checked time. I gave birth to all my children in this country. I was born in this country. The date I was born was noted down. The date, the time, and the second that I was born was noted down. So even if my parents do not register my birth certificate, I would have one day traced it today and get it. Because there is hospital record again. There is hospital record. Hospital book. Why? There is always hospital book before birth certificate is issued. And the hospital will notify them straight away on the system. So there is this. It's centralized. I think you need time to see me when you have time. 
I think you need time to, to book and see me before you get yourself into mess. Yeah? I think that's the way forward. I, th I, I think you need to book appointment and come and take my advice, specialist advice, to defend yourself. Eh? It doesn't matter. My clients are in Manchester. So if you are really, really, really in need, you need to travel down. Yeah, I think you need advice before you approach the authority on anything. I think you need to take advice first. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, bye. This is another story by the dust entirely. Listen, I agree with you that you want to apply and have your status to remain in the UK. I as absolutely accepted. I absolutely agree with you. But when you do it foolishly, it gives me headache. It makes me angry. Because I think this one that I just dealt with was done foolishly. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. The procedures are so sophisticated for someone to just come and say that a child born in the UK was brought in from Nigeria. From pregnancy, they monitor things. The GP, the midwife, the nurses, the everybody. On delivery dates, the midwife take authority on that day and have time and record. Not even the nurse that will discharge you. It's the midwife that take control of the delivery. The midwife is as good as the medical practitioners or the medical doctor on that day. So I, I, I am a bit lost. Something, something is not right somewhere. So I think that lady needs to come and see me. I didn't take her details down because there was no need for me. If she needs me, she will find me. I didn't take her details down. That is why that guy is threatening her. Because she knows, he knows all her secrets. That is the reason why he is now threatening. When two people are fighting, then they bring a lot of secrets out. Now, this is between man and woman, not even between two friends. A lot can happen. You understand? A lot can happen when you are not more in good terms. That is why you have to be careful who you disclose your, your, your secrets to. But at this time around, it's not even disclosure. Because they were together. So, who you? Do you understand? This is between a man and a woman. It's not even between two friends anymore. When it was sweet and juicy for them, they forgot. Now that things are not going well anymore, they are not in good terms. The guy has now come out and went to the authority to go and disclose what they have both cooked together. Believe me, they both cook it together. And your back proverb says that, If that guy get, gets into trouble, the guy should pull the guy along. Oh, yes. If she gets into trouble, she, she should pull the guy along. Assailant, conspiracy. So conspiracy and assailant is as good. The punishment is as good as the original offender under the Criminal Law Act. So when you are pulling somebody down, you need to think about the implication that will affect you as well. Because Onu Yabo, which means conspiracy assailant, will be punished. Heading and abating. You understand? Heading and abetting. So if you headed it and you want to come out at the last minute because you are no more talking together, you are no more in good terms, believe me, you'll be work. You will be heavily work. It will be the biggest regret of all your time, your journey, that if you, had, you would have known, you wouldn't have come out and speak and open your mouth carelessly. You would have called a no there are some things that you try to put in your belly. Your belly is like a woman. Your belly is like It means wisdom. Yes. But a corporate name. And it will be really punished. Honestly, beautifully punished. One love a report. One don't threaten. That girl should come for advice before she approached the authority for a defense at large. We are lawyers. We don't have anything to eat. We eat and wine and dine inside law. You understand? Wickedness in high places, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't think she knows that right at the moment. So she needs to come to me for advice. We, we wine and dine inside this. 
So at all costs, we will find defense, but the guy will be punished as well. So let him bring it on. Let him bring it on. When they were both doing it together, the third parties were not there. They didn't know about it. So it is now that he wants, because the guy has now got everything, he now thinks out of jealous that he should bring her down. He too will be punished for it. Believe me or not, it's not going to go free. No way. Go and write it down. As long as that guy is not panic, and in, she knows how to defend the matter, and the only way to defend that matter is to get advice now from me. Because as she's saying it, something is telling me how to defend it, what's for, what, what she needs to say, how to defend that problem. It's a problem at the time of problem that can easily be rectified. But we're going to buy advice. And that guy will be pulled along. Quote my name. Mr. Kuso. To come by you. You understand? You cannot just come out and come and say things foolishly or write to the authority and start disclosing. Who asked you for disclosure? Disclosure at a certain stage under law. You even have to pass through a certain procedure before you disclose. Exactly. And you want to just batten your kanje? Talking about lag by you. Hey, Carol, how are you? Who is, who is that? Okay, which Tunde? Okay, so I don't know you. You are just introducing yourself. Yeah, okay, all right. Carry on. Okay. Now you want to apply for what? So you've got your papers already. Okay. And Lori Urukowu. But for indefinite leave now, we're my last taker. Hey, you have to do biometric. So, so my come up. So, and you haven't got your indefinite leave to me. And if I would let you take on your last. Hmm. Hmm. But I want to pick you up. <laughs> oh, definitely. Definitely. As soon as, soon as you put your fingerprint on the system, that's the whole idea of introducing that. It's an Australian style. You know, so the whole idea of introducing biometric fingerprints is for them to know whether you have used the name or document in the past in another name. Can't only catch in, is to catch people that can't simply follow the procedure. So I'll we'll find out. Now, my, my honest advice to you, if it's just only change of name and the date of birth is the same, then you can rechange your name back to, your, to that name that you came in, that you did fingerprint on. Or possibly, possibly, sworn and Avidavi that you are the same person in advance. 
you need to show that you are the same person so there was no intention to defraud or to to do anything silly to the authority because that's where they are heading Emma, it is one as learning in advance before you go anywhere. You have to sworn it that you want to confirm that you came in in this. You you have you have previously applied because they knew that Nigerians are doing that in India, not only Nigeria. Let me just continue to say it generally, you know. But I just love the way I say it because that is my country, so I can I can easily say it like that. But they knew that Kwame Yamanshi people do it from time to time. Mm. You need to do that in advance before they find out. I think you should put them on notice. Come on, Tomo, because it might get you into trouble. Come and learn Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Please, you are not in Nigeria. Publish what in newspaper. In here, in England, you live in England. You just make a swan with Davi for it with a lawyer and they stamp it, you know, and say that it's the same person. You make a swan up Davi did and said that you are the same person in so so name that when you were when you, you previously applied to come to UK, you were you use this your name. Then you now use this name to enter when you were refused. You were you thought they, they would not give you the visa. That's why you applied in this name. As long as the date of birth is the same thing, then they will accept that you are the same person. But if the date of birth, eh? Can you say the same thing? I think you still have to disclose it anyway. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Because I have given advice on it already, so I can't. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're most welcome back. Oh, God, by you. There's so much happening with regards to people want to get... Uh, in Devnit, uh, they, they want to get apply for status in the UK. So much, there's so much happening. There's quite a lot of things that are in a mess. The information that lady gave us earlier on that the woman wants to, that the woman wants us to repeat. Okay, she can only repeat the online, and that's why we didn't put it on a uh, speaker. It's not something I can repeat. Exactly what she told me, I cannot say it on online, but I can only be giving the advice. The way I was giving the advice, but what she said, I cannot say it back online because she already asked for private and confidentiality when she was asking me that question. I was the one that can speak out, but she said she doesn't want it to be on speaker. So, that's um privilege that's already been granted. So, I will not be able to come out and, and repeat what she told me again. But then what I want people to know is that you have to be careful with the way you do things when you are putting in an application. The information you will send to the authority is very important. You understand? So you have to really, really be careful. If you are not careful about the type of information you disclose, you might get yourself into trouble. You might get yourself into trouble. Tokumbo Lagbaye. Emma Carol. You are not on speaker. <laughs> Okay, all right. Okay. So the other care and it's only um can you tell any so It, 
the, the guy who was in detention, uh, but only the assistant will be in. To get out of where he is, the British person will have to stand for, for him. Hmm. Two of our two the no man that he of whom I do need. Okay. Mm. Exactly. Mm. 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 Exactly. Mm. 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 That's the only way out. Do you have to me? Oh, mm. yes. no problem. <laughs> no problem. You said it's English test, that is English test, that is um, you have to do both of them. You have to do life in the UK and you have to do the English test. B, B1, uh, English for a settlement, under settlement. Mm. Uh, Trinity, Trinity, uh, okay. Yes, I will, I will check. You have to get both of them ready, otherwise, I'm not for any one year. Mm. 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 An application fee, oh, immediately, she might pay 1,800 and something each. Then, yeah, immediately, yeah, yeah, so you have to really mm. okay. We'll talk later. Let's go come offline. Mm. All right, okay, that's that. Yes, so um, that is the situation on ground. I thought I was going to stay till 10.30, but unfortunately I cannot stay till 10.30. It appears that I have some people on ground, so I have to leave now. I should be coming back by on Friday, if God is willing. It is only God that gives time, but I should be coming on again on Friday. But as we speak now, I have to come offline now. I have to thank you all for those that have managed to come on for the breakfast inquiries. It's called breakfast. <laughs> breakfast inquiries. Thank you all. You are all wonderful. You are beautiful. In fact, in your shala show me. Kimulu, Muni Bubwe, ten year by Niwa, two lane and lane. As somebody has sent Mule Mufu, Dukola will go into a real life. You are highly appreciated. God bless you. And if you leave, we will continue to have time for each other. We will continue to come back and meet again and talk about good things together. This will not be the end, inshallah, in the name of Jesus. Have a nice day, my dears. Have a nice day. You are blessed. I leave you into the capable hand of God. I cover you by the authority in every one of you that haven't got papers that will be going out. I bless you all that have papers. I pronounce anointing into your life. I speak by the authority in heaven that no man can supersede. I stand under the cover and umbrella of the blood of Jesus by the authority in heaven. By the anointing inside me, I speak into your life. Receiving success and blessing as you have come online to join me today. 
you will not regret to join that line. As you have known me, you will not regret to know me. There will be no cause for you to regret of knowing me. I bless you under the umbrella of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that have died on the Holy Calvary. On this very Monday morning, I speak into your life. Continue to receive blessing. Continue to receive progress. Continue to receive uncommon favor. Continue to receive anointing. Continue to excel in all ramifications. Continue to do good. Prosperity will continue to be your portion. Success and favor. Man and woman will locate you. People that you have not even had an encounter with will do you a favor. The kings, the queens, the governors, the presidents, the senators, they will locate you. People in position of power that you have not, you have, they have not even contacted you will locate you. That will be your portion. As I'm leaving you for now, I leave you into the capable hand of God, the Almighty, the Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rama, the God that never changed. He said, I am, I am. And when I block, nobody opens. When I opens, nobody block. I release you and I release your progress. The heavens release today for you. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. As you have said amen today, the Lord will continue to open gates for you. In all things that you are doing, the Lord will continue to shower blessing unto you. You will not regret coming online on a Monday morning to listen to my word. Under my voice, I speak into your life. Under my word, I anoint you. The authority inside me anoint you in the name of Jesus. You will not regret coming up on a Monday morning to listen to my voice. God bless you all. Stay blessed. Bye for now.